Why? Why is my all function not working? Let's have a look. Before we tackle my problem, let's have a quick look at what the all function does, okay? So here we have a small table where I show the sales amount for different subcategories. And let me now add a new measure where I calculate the sales amount as a percentage of the grand total. Now to do this, I first need to remove the filter context that I have here on subcategory name which I can do with the all function. So that way you have the grand total for each subcategory. And then I can take the sales amount to divide it by the overall grand total. Now let's see this in practice. I'm gonna to go to my FCT sales table and add a new measure. And let's call this measure all sales. I'm gonna use the calculate function because this function lets us modify the filter context. And then we can take the sum of our sales amount field. And now I would like to remove the filter context on subcategory name. And this I can do with an all function. And we're gonna refer to the field name subcategory name. And let's then close our calculate function and add it to the table. Now, there you go. You see we are returning the grand total for each subcategory. Now, and then as a natural next step, we could then divide the sales amount by the all sales to get the percentage. Okay, so let's now divide the sum of the sales amount by our all sales. And then let's format it as a percentage and add it to our table. Now the all function comes in different variations. For example, we have all, all selected, all except. Now let me just quickly show you what the difference is. Now let me just copy over the formula that we just wrote. I'm gonna go back to my all sales measure. I'm gonna copy the formula, create a new measure, and just paste it in there. And let's rename this one then to all selected. And the only change that I'm gonna make is that instead of all, we're gonna have all selected. And let's do the same for my sales percentage measure. So I'm gonna copy my formula. And then also here, we're gonna add a new measure. And let's just rename this one to sales percentage, all selected. And then here we divide not by all sales, but by all selected sales. And let's format it as a percentage. And let's then also add these two measures to our table. So first all selected and then sales percentage all selected. Now at this point, all sales and all selected sales, they return us exactly the same, okay? The difference comes when we have an external filter. So outside of our visualization. For example, when we have a slicer or when I go to the filter pane and let's say we select all of the subcategories except computers uh, accessories. Now there is a difference, okay? Now all sales still returns us exactly the same number as before. However, all selected now only returns the total sales for the ones that we selected in our filter. Now all sales also still includes the one that we just deselected, computers, accessories, okay? And that's why there's now a difference. And that's also why we see that we have now here 97 and a half percent, not 100% anymore, like we have here, okay? So that's the difference between all and all selected. Now then there is also all except. When is this relevant? Well, let's say if we have our table visualization, like this one and we do not only want to remove the filter from subcategory name but also other fields in our product table okay now let me show you if I for example take away subcategory name now and I put in column name from our products table okay I'm gonna put it in rows and you see all sales actually doesn't work anymore because we only are removing the filter on subcategory name not on column A, 
Okay, so I would need to go back to my formula and then over here also add another field. So here I can then also remove the filter context from column A. Okay, and now it works again. All right, so what if I now would not want to have column name, but let's say manufacturer or let's say class name? Well, then I would have to add those columns to my all function. So this would, one, would be one option. Another option would be to simply refer to the whole table, okay? Instead of individual columns. You see that would also work. However, the most efficient would be to only refer to the columns from which you actually do need to remove the filter context. And that's where all accept comes in. So I can go here to my all function and let's rename this one then to all accept. And here we have the table name, that's the in products. And then I want to remove the filter context from all of the columns, except let's say column name. And you see that for column name, it's not removing the filter context anymore. However, as soon as I put in let's say any other field from my products table, like subcategory name, then it works again. Okay, so we have all, we have all selected, we have all accept, and there's also a function that's called remove filters. Now this one is exactly the same as all. Okay, now let me show you quickly. So here I'm back in my all sales measure, and I'm gonna use now the remove filters function and I'm going to remove the filter from subcategory name and you see it gives me exactly the same result so you might be wondering why do we have remove filters uh, if it does exactly the same as all well that's because the all function can be used in two ways so it can be used inside of a calculate function and so that it then it removes the filters or it can be used on its own to return a table that only returns, let's say, the unique values in a column or in a table, okay? Now, because it's a little bit confusing, these two different applications, they thought it's a little bit more straightforward if we have a function, remove filters, that only does one thing and can only be used in the calculate function. Okay, so now that you really understand what the all function does, let's have a look at my problem. Okay, so here we have the table from before with only the sales amount. And the change that I'm gonna make is I'm gonna take out subcategory and I'm gonna put in the product category name. So that we have the sales amount broken down by the different categories. Okay, so now I want to use my all function to remove the filter context on product category name so that I have the grand total for each product category. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my all sales function. Now, and instead of referring to product subcategory name, I'm going to change this to product category name. Now let's add this then to our table and you see it doesn't work. So this is a problem that I see quite often and that is that the product category name in our data model is sorted by another column. Okay, so let me show you. If I go here to product category name and then I go to sort by column, you see that it's currently sorted by a column product category sort order. So because I always want to have a certain sort order for my product category names, I have to do this, all right? And when you have a sort by column, like we have here, then you also need to include that sort by column in your all function. So if I go back to my all function here, I just have to include the sort order column for product category name and you see now the problem is solved and I can use it for example in my sales percentage calculation and you see it nicely works. Okay so let's have a look at another common scenario that I often encounter where people have troubles with the all function. All right so here we have the sales amount and we're gonna have all sales, okay, now we need to adapt it a little bit so that we remove the filter on the year. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to all sales and let's now adapt it to our current scenario. 
So I'm going to remove all and let's now refer to our date column. And you see, nothing happened. Now the reason is that I removed it only from one column, the date column, not from the year, the quarter, the month, the day, etc. Okay. Now here we have a breakdown by the year. Okay. So you see, we have our hierarchy year, quarter, month, day on our visualization. Okay. So if I want this to work on the year level, I need to go back to all sales. And then instead of referring to date, I need to select over here the year and then it works again. Now, but what if I expand down one level to the quarter? Well, then I would also need to include the quarter, okay? Or what you can do is simply refer to the entire table, all dim date, so that it removes any filter on any column in that table. Okay, so in our case, we were working with a custom date table, but let's say that we don't have our custom date table, but we just have FCD sales where we have one date field, the date key. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my report where we have the sales amount. Okay. And let's have a look at all sales again. So I'm going to add it over here to values. Now, and if we have a look at the function, then here you see we have all, and then we are referring to date key dot date. That means we are now using the hidden date table that's Power BI generates in the backend. Okay, and you see it doesn't work. So I need to adjust this so that we have over here then the year. See, now it works again. Let's now also include then the quarter. And then if we expand down one level, again, it doesn't work. Well, this is because if we have a closer look, then you see that there was also a quarter number, okay? So this hidden table in the back end has a sort by column for quarter, which is the quarter number, okay? So you also need to include that one if you use it. So these were some common scenarios where it can go wrong when you use the all function. Now, maybe you know some more cases, then share it with us in the comment section below. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And I hope to see you in the next video.